Hemawat, Hemawat Sut. Today is the fifteenth, the fourth, said the Yak Satagur. A celestial light has arrived. Come, let us see Gautam, the teacher of perfect name. Is the mind of the impartial one, said the Yak Hemawat, well disposed towards all beings? Has he mastered his intentions towards the desirable and undesirable? The mind of the impartial one, said the Yak Satagir, is well disposed towards all beings. He has mastered his intentions towards the desirable and undesirable. Does he avoid taking what has not been given, said the Yak Hemavata. Is he self-controlled in regard to living beings? Does he keep far from heedlessness? Is he not devoid of jhana? He does not take what has not been given, said the Yaka Satagira, and is self-controlled in regard to living beings. He also keeps far from heedlessness. The Buddha is not devoid of jhana. Does he avoid speaking falsely? said the Yakahe Moata. Is his way of speaking not rough? Does he not say anything destructive? Does he not speak idle chatter? He does not speak falsely, said the Yakasata Gira, and his way of speaking is not rough. He does not say what is destructive. With reflection, he speaks what is meaningful. Does he have no lust for sensual flashes? said the Yaka Hemavata. Is his mind unsullied? Has he overcome delusion? Does he have the vision of a phenomena? He has no lust for sensual flashes, said the Yaka Sadagire. And his mind is unsullied. He has overcome all delusion. The Buddha has a vision for phenomena. Is he endowed with clear knowledge? said the Yakahe Mavata. Is he also pure in conduct? Have the influxes been destroyed by him? Is there for him no renewed existence? He is endowed with clear knowledge, said the Yaka Satagira. He is also pure in conduct. All the influxes have been destroyed by him. For him there is no renewed existence. Hemavata The Muni's mind is accomplished with respect to action and way of speech. In accordance with the Dhamma you praise him, one accomplished in clear knowledge and conduct. Satagira The Muni's mind is accomplished with respect to actions and way of speech. In accordance with Dhamma you rejoice over one accomplished in clear knowledge and conduct. The Muni's mind is accomplished with respect to action and way of speech. Come, let's go see Gautam. One accomplished in clear knowledge and conduct. Hemavata. Come, let's go see Gautam. The Muni meditating in the woods with antelope cows, slender, a hero, eating little. Greedless. Having approached the Naga, who is like a lion wandering alone, in different sensual pleasures, let's ask about release from the snare of death. Satagira and Hemavata. Let us ask Gautama, the expounder, the instructor. One gone beyond all phenomena. The Buddha who has overcome enmity and peril. In what has the world arisen? said the Yakahe Muata. In what does it form intimacy? Having clung to what is the world, afflicted in regard to what? In six the world has arisen, He Muata, said the Blessed One. In six it forms intimacy. Having clung to six, the world is 
of lecture in regard to sex. What is the clinging in which the word is afflicted? When asked about the outlet, tell, how is one released from suffering? Five stands of sensual pleasure, with mind as sixth are declared in the world. Having unplanked desire for this, one is thereby released from suffering. This outlet from the world has been expounded to you just as it is. This is what I declare to you. One is thereby released from suffering. Who here crosses the flood? Who here crosses the sea? Who does not sink in the deep, which is without foothold, without support? One always accomplished in good behavior, endowed with wisdom, well concentrated, inwardly reflective, mindful, causes the flood so hard to cross. One who has abstained from sensual perception, who has overcome all fighters, who has utterly destroyed delight and existence, he does not sink in the deep. Behold him of deep wisdom, the one who sees the subtle meaning, owning nothing, unattached to the sensual pleasures and existence. Behold him, everywhere released, the great Rishi treading the divine path. Behold him of perfect name, the one who sees the subtle meaning, the giver of wisdom, unattached to the lie of sensual pleasures. All knowing, very wise, the great Rishi treading the noble path. Today indeed we have had a good sight, a good morning. A good rising, since we have seen the enlightened one, one without influxes who has crossed the flood. These thousand yakas possessing psychic potency and fame all go to you for refuge. You are our unsurpassed teacher. We will wander from village to village, from mountain to mountain, paying homage to the enlightened one and to the excellence of the Dhamma.